Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. I just got these out of the toaster just now, <clears throat> so they're hot. <clears throat> um, these are... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Man. <coughs> Ooh, so I've been having bad allergies the past couple days. <coughs> Sinus. <coughs> so... <laughs> The first thing you want to hear when, when you watch one of my videos is all my coughing and clearing my throat. Okay, so these are Scally's Old World Bakery Bagels. These are French toast bagels. And um, saw these the other day, and it sounded really good. Um, so I grabbed them. This is the first first time eating of them. Um, they, smell, they smell like... French toast. It's not like a like a real big aroma, but uh, it's it's there. Um, uh, so when I when I make my own French toast, which I've been doing for many years, I haven't done it in a while, but my French French toast batter, um, <clears throat> I take a couple eggs, crack them in a bowl. I go get some I get some milk, pour in. Um, oh, it probably averages out to about a. <clears throat> Probably a half cup, maybe close to a whole cup in a bowl. Two eggs and a half cup to two cups of milk. And then I put in a little uh, vanilla. I put in a little cinnamon uh, powder. And uh, uh, I think that's about it. <clears throat> Mix that up real good. And then uh, <clears throat> after I get it mixed up real good, I get a couple pieces of bread. And... Uh, I dip them in there, both sides, you know, real good. And then uh, by that time, I've, I've got my, my skillet um, heated up and a little bit of oil in there. And uh, <clears throat> I uh, let them cook, let them cook up. And... Uh, And they're nice and brown on both sides. They're they're pretty much done. You know, just make sure your egg <coughs> your egg is cooked. If you mixed it up real good, it's gonna be done. it's gonna be mixed up good enough. Where my lid go? Um. So <clears throat> so you do that, and then I put some butter on it. I put some peanut butter on it. I put some syrup on it, and. Uh, Voila, it's good, good stuff. <clears throat> at the end, you usually have like, at the end of the bowl, you have like a, like a, like a lot of egg left. <clears throat> I usually put it in the pan afterwards and fry it up just by itself, just pour it in there, cook it, and then maybe add it to another piece of French toast or something, whatever's left over, you know, so, um, man, I haven't done that in a while, I just, sounds pretty good, <clears throat> okay, so, let me, yeah, it's, <laughs> it has a, it has a nice French toast aroma, <clears throat> um, Has some looks like maybe poppy seed maybe on the bottom of it. I haven't re <clears throat> read the directions yet. <clears throat> Malted barley, water, cinnamon, cinnamon bit, cinnamon bit, <clears throat> sugar. In that cinnamon bit, you got sugar, <clears throat> wheat flour. Yellow corn flour, cinnamon, again, Cin uh, soybean oil. And then also you got sugar, maple bit. <clears throat> the maple bit's got sugar, wheat flour, yellow corn flour, soybean oil. And, and then we got um, natural, natural and artificial flavor. <clears throat> Yeast, egg, molasses, calcium, provisor. This is when I get, when they lose me. Um, <clears throat> turmeric is in there. 
for color. Got some maple syrup, vanilla, and cornmeal. So they have a lot of a lot of stuff that you <coughs> that I, <coughs> oh man that I would put in a in for uh, making my own French toast. There's no egg in there, but oh yes, there is. I did say egg. <coughs> so. Vanilla and cinnamon. I do smell cinnamon. I get the vanilla a little bit. Now the peanut butter is kind of high. Uh oh. <coughs> Dang, it's almost sounded like a summer cold or something. I wasn't doing that before I left the house. What's up? Okay. <coughs> <laughs> Any any smart or considerate person would probably just <laughs> delete this one and start over again, but I've already started, so um, I'm going to go on with it. Um, <clears throat> there's little brown, little brown things in there that look, kind of look like raisins a little bit, but I, I want to see. It might be like little cinnamon, <clears throat> little cinnamon pools, you know? Little, little pools of cinnamon. I don't know. I couldn't taste it real good with the peanut butter also. also. Oh, man. Let me get this. Oh, man. <clears throat> Some on the side. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's cinnamon. <clears throat> um, these aren't bad. Uh, the 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 flavors aren't big, so the peanut butter that I put on is kind of drowning out the flavors in, in the bagels because it's bigger than the flavors in the bagel and uh, <clears throat> so it's good it's just they're just not i think that they're made more for maybe just eating by themselves after you toast them maybe maybe putting a little a little cream cheese would be better on there. I might try that tomorrow or something. Try some cream cheese on it. I don't know. Cream cheese and French toast. I guess it could work. <clears throat> um. And this, this was just the top bagel, so who knows, maybe some of them inside might be more flavorful. Maybe their ingredients are maybe a little stronger than some of the other ones. Um, <clears throat> they're out of... Cincinnati, Ohio. 1933 w, uh, West Galbraith Road. <clears throat> so 
So people in Cincinnati might have drove by and seen the big sc Scally's Old World Bakery. Might be a big place, I don't know. I don't see a lot of these products, so it's just this. So if all they're making is just the bagels, then uh, I haven't looked it up online, researched it or anything. <clears throat> may not be like a real huge place, but um, if they're distributing all the way to here to Oklahoma, they could be. It could be a big, a big um, factory type place. But uh, yeah, it's just this ain't bad. I mean, it's you know, I would have liked it a little bit more strong on the French toast kind of theme. But <clears throat> as the Rolling Stones said, you can't always get what you want. So with that, 11 minutes <clears throat> and uh, probably a total of five minutes of you hearing me coughing, clearing my throat and sneezing. So it made it made for a real good Jerry Fort video, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end it there. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, these aren't. I mean, these are okay. If I was to rate them between one and five, um, <clears throat> I'd probably say I'll give them one. I'll give them one for the uh, for the decent aroma of French toast. Um, I'll give them two for that they're fresh. Um, they are, well, I mean, that's not due to them. It's the stores that keep them, you know, up to date. Um, but the, looks like they're, they're well made. Um, <clears throat> um, I mean, and, and they, taste, they taste okay. So I'd probably give them a three. They would have had bigger, you know, more cinnamon added to the bread or more vanilla or something, you know, something like that. Then probably would have, you know, probably would have got all the way to a five. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, so there you go. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Scally's Old World Bakery. Bagels. See you on the next one. Have a good day.